Okay. We've finally got to a decision. I'm going to definitely do JWP, and I really can't touch this one. So uh, today's the day we're going to get the engine and transmission out, and uh, the guys are working on that now. So I guess we better get round there and have a look at what they're doing. So the engine was given one final turnover before it was dismantled, leaving the Stag engine free for the first time since it was originally built 46 years ago. The engine was then mounted and then loaded onto a truck, taken off to be cleaned and preserved for the future. This is the boot space, uh, we've cleared a lot of that out. So yeah. there's still a few bits in here like um, the fuel system that needs to come out, but generally it's in pretty good condition. Yeah, yeah, pleasantly surprised actually, because they can get a bit of rot underneath the fuel tank and mm. it doesn't look too bad. That's yeah, I mean, it's, it's a solid bottom, right? Uh, there's obviously been a little bit of patching here, but somebody's gone through and cleaned it all up. Yeah. Um, so I think we're in, a, we're in a good position here, ready to, uh, ready to fit the, the mopped up. Battery. Okay. All right. Let's go look at the front. Okay, this is the front. Um, a little bit dirty, Les. We'll yeah, spend, we'll spend a little bit of time scrubbing that down. But yeah, yeah no problem. Um, it's still got quite a bit of the original car in here, right? So we've still got power steering pump. Um, we've got AC system in here. All the old wiring looms in here. Um, Bit of the fan, seem to have lost one yeah. of the fans. Obviously, the yeah, old, I've got, the, I've the, got old the old fan sitting in the garage at home. So, I mean, it just gives us the package space. We've taken a lot of the dimensions off of this, we've shared them with a partner that we're working with to design the battery. It's not the normal way we do things, but that's because we're using the LG Chem batteries. Yeah, I think we've gone, we've gone outside, somebody's got the CAD for that, so we're, we're working with them to do that. So, we've given them all the dimensions, we've mocked up. Um, a plywood battery because we love doing that yep. um, and I think we've got to try it in here and see what, see what we make of it. Yep. Okay. All right. For Alex the big day had arrived, time to get the engine started and see how things would go. But it became pretty clear, only a few seconds in, that something wasn't right. And fuel started to leak from the rear of the streamliner. I think the pump's suitable for uh, Jet A. Right, okay. So we'll have to see. <laughs> Watch this space, as they say. Right, so let's have a look at these battery boxes. These have been made for us to the dimensions that, we're, uh, that we've given them. Yeah. Um, so this so we've got all the CAD for this as well. Haven't we? Yeah, we've got all the CAD for this. So um, this was really just a trial fit because we haven't got a scan of the car. Yeah. Right, so 
a lot of what we've done, we've either got the CAD for a space frame chassis, for example, or we've got uh, a 3D scan. But we've done this route, we've gone sort of old school engineering, pretty cool. Um, a bit of plywood engineering. Um, so this one has six LG Chem modules in it. Yeah. So that that's that in its own right is about 10 kilowatt hours yeah, right. and runs at 360 volts nominal, right? This one's got 12 in it, so we get to a total of just under 30 kilowatt hours in the car. Yeah. We're good for uh, sort of 140 miles, something yeah. like that, I would think. Nice. Mind your fingers. Right, so actually, that's pretty good, right? Yeah. I'm happy with that. Yeah. Uh, it's I got no cutouts, I guess, with the original mounts. Yeah, with the original so mounts, we're going to we're, are we gonna have to try and think a little bit about how we hold it down, right? Because this thing, oh, what's it going to weigh? Probably about 100 kilos? Yeah. Right, so... Certainly don't want it sloshing around. We're not around, moving around, do we? So, so we've got to put a little bit of thought into that. Um, I think the other thing is, it's a little bit high compared to the original floor yeah. and the boot here. Yeah, it sort of clears it at the... It clears it at the rear, but it's yeah. too high at the front. So I think what we're going to end up doing is putting something in underneath it and lifting up the rear, create a flat floor in the yeah. back here. Yeah. You'll lose about an inch off the original floor, but actually, I mean, we could we could still use these areas to the, to the left and the right. I mean, if we were to trim that up, we could actually have some area for, for a night bag inside as well. Yeah. Right? So, you're not, you're not losing a lot. You don't have a spare wheel, right? No, and, and one wheel. of these you could pro probably use for that because we need to make a tire inflator kit, yeah, something yeah. like that would, yeah. would fit into one of these, right? So yeah, yeah I think, I think generally it's, it's a pretty good compromise in the boot here. Right? Yeah. We haven't tried this yet, so no, I don't know what's going to happen. No. This could be a little bit embarrassing, it's but a let's try. Line, <laughs> right, um, that yeah. looks like a, looks like an aeroplane, doesn't it? Mm. Um, right, so this is going to have tw 12 modules in it. Yeah, 20 kilowatt It's going to weigh hours. about 200 kilos. Yeah, We're not going to be able to lift it like this. Sure. Right. Well, that's oh. not a good start, is it? Oh, well. Oh, please. What have we done? So, it's, um, as expected, it ain't working. Uh, so. We clearly need to take it's only the bracket at the moment, so we can get that out. Yep, yep, we can do that. I think the other problem we're going to have is this power steering pump, so we need to take that out. What we done about power steering? I didn't know it had it. Oh right, <laughs> no, it's got power steering. Oh well, we'd better come up with a solution for that, then, haven't we? As Alex and his team put away the streamliner for another day, Les and Nick contemplate how to get the battery boxes into the stag. Join us next time for Down at the Barns and don't forget to subscribe to our channel in the link below.